What's going on everybody, Diala Ricks TV back with another video and in today's video we'll be discussing a potential trade pertaining to the Los Angeles Lakers and a three team trade involving the Indiana Pacers. This article is per Inquisitor and a headline reads, NBA rumors, Russell Westbrook to the Indiana Pacers, Taylor Horton Tucker to the Oklahoma City Thunder and a proposed three way deal. So first and foremost, before I continue to read, I don't need y'all in my comment section talking about, so why do you get information from Inquisitor? These are not reliable sources. Shut up, okay? Because first of all, this is the same article that reported that Russell Westbrook was coming to the Lakers. Okay, so, I mean, how credible was that? They were pretty much accurate, right? They were fairly accurate, right? Okay, then. This article was written by J.B. Barulo, and he goes on to say, The Los Angeles Lakers point guard Russell Westbrook is expected to be one of the biggest names on the trade market in the 2022 NBA offseason, though they are still trying to keep their playoff hopes alive in the 2021-2022 NBA season. <laughs> they can go ahead and forget that. <laughs> they can forget that one, okay? Multiple signs are pointing out that Russell Westbrook and the Lakers will be parting ways next summer, finding a taker for Westbrook and the $47 million that he's owed next season would be a tough task for the Lakers. However, if they're willing to sacrifice some of their precious trade assets, the Lakers could unload Westbrook while improving their roster around LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It says, proposed three-way trade. He says, in a recent article, Jonathan Kiernan of Fansiders Lake Show Life discussed a massive Russell Westbrook trade that would save the Lakers offseason. Aside from the Lakers, the hypothetical blockbuster trade idea will also involve the Indiana Pacers and Oklahoma City Thunder. In the proposed three-team trade scenario, the Lakers would be getting, the Lakers would get Buddy Hill and Malcolm Brogdon. The Pacers would receive Westbrook. The Phoenix Suns will receive a 2022 first round pick, LA's 2027 pick, and the 2029 first round picks. And the Thunder would obtain Taylor Horton Tucker. He goes on to speak about the Lakers adding two new starters. So if you guys would like to read the full article, the link is in the description box. So I see no issue with this trade simply because Malcolm Brogdon is a really good shooter, really good playmaker, good at finishing at the rim especially, and he gives really good quality minutes. Buddy Hill is a phenomenal shooter. That doesn't even need to be explained. And you can trust that when he's on that floor, he's going to put the ball in the rim. However, I don't think that this trade makes the Lakers better. I'm going to just say if the Lakers are looking to get another championship, bro. If they even want to come remotely close to smelling the title, okay? Trading for Buddy Hill isn't the answer. If the Lakers would like to win with LeBron James, you're not going to get young players or you're not going to get C and D level talent. You need to get superstars. That's what he need. If he wants to win, he needs superstars. He needs superstar players like Kyrie Irving alongside him. He needs co-stars. With LeBron James leading the ship, you need multiple stars on the team. So they could do the work for him. See, he likes he likes to ride their wave as the team goes into a run. He absorbs the energy, then he catches fire, then he takes all the credit. And they make it seem like LeBron James led the team to a championship. And honestly speaking, even if the Lakers traded for Buddy Hill instead of Russell Westbrook, I think they would be blaming Buddy Hill right now instead of Russell Westbrook. You'll have the Nick Wrights and the Shannon Sharps and the Chris Broussards and the Kendrick Perkins of the world complaining about how the Lakers should have traded for Russell Westbrook instead of Buddy Hill, right? Shannon Shaw would be like, skill. That's why Rob Palenka needs to go. That's why Rob Palenka needs to go, skill. He had a, he had the opportunity to trade for Russell Westbrook, and he decided to trade for Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill, skill. Well, Buddy Hill can't even make a shot. If the NBA decided they wanted to make the run wide, skip. Buddy Hill couldn't even make a shot. Skill. You had the opportunity to go out and get Russell Westbrook, Mr. Triple Double himself. The man who averaged a triple-double the entire season. Come on, skip. If the Lakers would have decided to go in the direction of signing DeMar DeRozan instead of Russell Westbrook, and perhaps DeMar DeRozan and LeBron James didn't match well, then you would have had Shannon Sharp talking about something. You know what, skip? You know what I'm wearing today, skip? I got on customized ice-cold frozen underwear. Because that's what DeRozan had on last night, skip. Because he couldn't make a shot. What is LeBron supposed to do with that, Skip? My grandmama used to always have a saying. And you know how that saying goes, Skip? You can't put ice tray in a refrigerator and expect it to freeze, Skip. 
Come on now. But anyway, the only trade that the Lakers need to be focused on at this current moment is trading all three LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and Anthony Davis to get as many assets as possible. Because LeBron James, he needs superstar level players in order to win. It's just time to go. It's time to clean house. Get that toxic energy out of the building. That cancer. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.